appreciate you guys coming over on this holiday, doing the show with me. I wouldn't want you to think that we wouldn't be celebrating Valentine's Day since you are here on February 14th. And what better way to do that than with song? Here we are checking out music commentary podcasts, getting other people's take on songs and music. So I thought maybe we'd do our own with a woman known as Christine Knowlton. Oh, 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 man. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Or happy VD Day. You hate us. But if you have a VD, you should probably go get that checked out. Now, I'm going to share with you a couple of my... Pretty good joke right off the bat, yeah, huh? never been told. Nope. First time so she was... came up with that herself. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good stuff. What I love about Christine Knowlton <laughs> is <laughs> the melody she comes up with for her songs. They're just, they're impressive. They're earworms, so watch out, everyone. My favorite Valentine's Day songs, Cupid, That Flying Fat-Ass Baby, Love Version and Hate Version, because where there's light, there's always dark. What part of music is she good at? <laughs> she has no rhythm. She can't sing worth shit. She the chords she picks are she's got two chords she can play. Yeah. I think she's the only person that owns that instrument. That's where she Is that comes what it is? And, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you think she That's made where her credentials are? Cornered, <laughs> she's cornered the market on electric ukulele. <laughs> And now for the hate version. All right, this is where it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> you got a mean face on. Same chords. on right now <laughs> so she's making it up as she's going along she yeah. must be right <laughs> it, it, the air yeah. wasn't full of love but poison <laughs> she's from the lou reed school of sucking yeah. <laughs> i think this so, is for like people that are down on their situation on valentine's day and then you watch this and you're like that could be me <laughs> so I guess it's not so I bad. I could be banging that. Yeah. It's, I think what the actual. No, I think is this is just to convince you to finish the job. <laughs> it just ended it all. And instead, so watch out for the flying fat ass baby, cause you could wind up dead. And now for a Valentine's Day poem. All right, so we've, we've heard no. two songs, both no. fantastic. No. Time for a Valentine's Day poem. Now, my question to you guys is, did she write this or did she find it somewhere? I feel like I've heard this before, but I could be wrong. Well, let's mm -hmm. see if it's funny. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not. Spoiler. <laughs> Money was short. Times were hard. Here's your fucking Valentine's Day card. Twas the day of Valentine's Day, and all through the house, everyone felt shitty, even the mouse. Mom at the whorehouse and Dad smoking grass. I had just settled down for a nice piece of ass. Out on the lawn, I heard such a clatter. I sprang from my piece to see what was the matter. Out on the lawn, I saw a big dick. I knew in a minute it was that Cuban named Nick. Well, he filled all our candy dishes with pretzels and beer and a big rubber dick for my brother, the queer. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm uh, back one, in. one joke. One joke's landed so far. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. All right. I think she wrote it. I'm going to say she wrote this one.
She does seem proud. Now, yes, for sure. He rose up the chimney with a thunderous fart. That fat ass flying baby blew the chimney apart. He swore and he cursed as he flew out of sight. Piss on you all and have one hell of a night. Happy Valentine's Day. It makes sense. All right. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Christine Knowlton, our favorite uh, musical comedian. I don't like poetry anymore, and if I could divorce you, I would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who are these podcasts? W-A-R-E.